Hello and welcome to another segment of the Spirit of Debate. I'm Lauren Green, Chief Religion Correspondent for Fox News Channel. Does God use the motion of the planets to communicate with us, to announce things to come? Well, many people believe that an astronomical occurrence called four blood moons is a message from God. A blood moon is a full lunar eclipse, and four of them in a row is called a tetrad. When they've occurred on the Jewish High Holy Days, it's coincided with major historical events, like the Six-Day War in 1967. Four blood moons on the Jewish High Holy Days has happened only three times in the last 500 years. The next time it occurs is starting next spring on the Jewish Passover. Chief Religion Correspondent Lauren Green is live in our New York City newsroom with more details. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Shannon. Well, you know, it's been long speculated that Pope Francis would make a pilgrimage to the United States, but now Francis himself confirmed he will visit. The popular pontiff announced this morning in Rome that he will travel to the United States in September. Now, the Vatican has not released an exact itinerary yet, but it's expected the Pope will also go to D.C. Last spring, House Speaker John Boehner and Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi formally invited the pontiff to address a joint session of Congress. Now, if that happens, insiders say it would be unprecedented. Francis would be the first religious leader that serves as a head of state ever to do so. Now, also, it's expected that Pope Francis will travel to New York City and deliver a speech to the United Nations to mark its 70th anniversary. Shannon? All right, Lauren, thank you so much. The Holy Father is visiting the city of brotherly love. The planet also means, very concretely, our very survival. We are all of you know it, on the edge of a climatic abyss. In fact, we have 500 days to avoid a climate chaos. We have 500 days to avoid a climate chaos. Very important issue, issue of uh, uh, climate change, climate chaos, and we have, I said that we have 500 days to avoid climate chaos.